Once upon a time, in a quiet town surrounded by emerald fields and azure skies, lived a young boy named Oliver. Oliver was known for his vivid imagination and knack for storytelling. However, there was one problem. He had a habit of embellishing the truth. His friends would often raise their eyebrows when Oliver began recounting his adventures, for they could sense the exaggerations woven into his tales. As time passed, Oliver's tendency to exaggerate grew, and his friends began to distance themselves. They could no longer trust the stories that flowed effortlessly from his lips. One day, after a particularly wild tale involving a dragon and a hidden treasure, Oliver found himself alone in the park, his friends dispersing like leaves in the wind. Confused and hurt, Oliver sat on a weathered bench beneath an old oak tree, contemplating the consequences of his love for stretching the truth. It was then that an old man, with a kind twinkle in his eye, approached Oliver. Son, the old man said, I couldn't help but overhear your stories. Remember, lying breaks trust, and no one believes a liar, even when they tell the truth. Oliver felt a pang of guilt, but also a spark of realization. He decided then and there that he would mend the fragile web of trust he had inadvertently torn. Determined to change, Oliver started small. He resisted the urge to embellish his daily encounters and began speaking the unvarnished truth. Slowly but surely, his friends noticed the change and cautiously returned, testing the waters of their fractured trust. One day, Oliver's class received an assignment to create a project about their town's history. Instead of fabricating an elaborate story, Oliver delved into the dusty archives of the local library discovering fascinating tales of pioneers and the town's humble beginnings. Excitedly, Oliver presented his findings to his classmates, weaving a narrative that needed no exaggerations. His friends listened intently, their skepticism melting away. Oliver felt a warmth within him, a warmth born not from fiction, but from the genuine appreciation of those around him. As the days turned into weeks, Oliver's reputation transformed. His friends began to seek his company once more, and the fragile web of trust he had mended grew stronger with each honest word. However, the true test lay ahead. One sunny afternoon, a mysterious event occurred in the town. A valuable artifact, a cherished heirloom passed down through generations, went missing. Suspicion hung in the air like a storm brewing on the horizon. Oliver, having rebuilt his credibility, found himself at the center of the investigation. Determined to prove his newfound honesty, Oliver decided to uncover the truth behind the disappearance. He spoke to witnesses, studied the scene, and sifted through the facts. As he pieced together the puzzle, he stumbled upon a lead that pointed to an unexpected culprit. It turned out that a mischievous raccoon had inadvertently taken the artifact while searching for shiny objects. With undeniable evidence in hand, Oliver presented his findings to the town, dispelling the cloud of suspicion that had settled over him. The townspeople, initially hesitant to believe Oliver, were taken aback by the undeniable truth before them. The raccoon, innocent yet mischievous, became a symbol of the consequences of assumptions. Oliver's honesty had not only solved the mystery, but had also reinforced the fragile trust he had painstakingly rebuilt. From that day forward, Oliver became a beacon of truth in the town. His friends, once skeptical, now relied on him for guidance and honesty. Oliver, having learned the invaluable lesson that lying breaks trust, embraced the power of truth as a force that could mend even the most fragile threads of credibility. And so, in the quiet town surrounded by emerald fields and azure skies, Oliver became a living testament to the idea that honesty, once lost, could be found again through genuine effort and a commitment to rebuilding the delicate web of trust.